there, welcome back to the Middle Mouse Bujo Challenge. Um, it is Tuesday, September 26th, and I pretty much killed it on Monday, as you can see, with all of these X's. I did a good job. I'm very proud of myself. I'm proud of myself because I put like all of the easy stuff to do on Monday, but sometimes I don't even get that done, so it's still good. Um, I already yesterday pretty much marked off the things that I wanted to do on Tuesday. That's the benefit of this Alistair method that I use to set up my week. If you missed yesterday's video, I set up this weekly. I'm going to be using a weekly spread for the last week of, of September. Um, even though I've been doing only dailies, I've started to feel a little bit um, like I didn't have a good grasp of what was coming up in my week uh, without having somewhere to sort of note, oh yeah, I don't have to work on that today. I'm going to work on it in two days. So for example, all of these things I've marked for Tuesday, I already have decided that's what I'm going to spend my Tuesday on. So I'm just going to migrate those over right now. So uh, on my Monday, I also put sort of a section of notes here uh, for the interim check-ins at um, myhogwarts.com where I'm the head of House of Slytherin. So I have to check in with some students every uh, for the, at the middle of the year, we call it interim week. So I put the questions I needed to ask my student uh, here, and fortunately we got through all of them in one day. We're making really good time. Um, so that's here. In previous uh, setups, I've put them on like a sticky note so that I can move it throughout uh, the week as I move throughout time. Um, but I figured my dailies are pretty compact, so leaving it here and having to flip back a couple pages wouldn't be a problem. And I was pretty confident that we would get it done with at least within this week. So uh, let's go ahead and put everything on my Tuesday. There's one task that I was hoping to get done last weekend, but uh, because I was out of town unexpectedly, uh, I didn't get done. So I'm gonna clean the bathroom when I get home from work tomorrow. And that's what the arrow means is that it's when I'm at home specifically. So I don't even look at that when I'm not at home. Uh, it just kind of is a quick way to have one to-do list where everything can get mixed in, but there's still a little bit of context there instead of having to have a separate when you're at home to-do list. So fortunately this fits on one page, but it may overflow as things come up tomorrow, but that's not a big problem. Um, I think that looks good for now. A lot of these things in the middle of my to-do list will have to get, some of these are bigger, like this one, this one I just kind of have to sit down and do. This one is going to take me a while, so we'll see if they get worked on. Some of them are also not like urgent things that I've been putting off for a while and would really like to just not have on my plate anymore, but also things that it's not a huge deal if it doesn't happen this week and I can always migrate it forward. So I guess we'll see if anything more important kind of pops up in, in the way and then I can just say, well, you know, it's fine. I didn't get done this week, but, um, I think that is it for today's video. I guess I can flip back and look at the, yeah, see, I still have to fill out some of this, but uh, I will do that off camera because I have to go look up a number. This has sort of been working, this habit tracker. Um, I like the simplicity of it, but I also feel like I keep forgetting it's there and that I may not have given myself credit for certain things that I did just because I forgot to fill them out. Um, so like in my upcoming, like for next week when I'm in October, I have a weekly tracker that has a tracker item to check my habit tracker in a different insert. Tracking your trackers seems like rabbit hole kind of paranoia, but it actually works for me because there's like, there's two different pages that I need to check every day that aren't on that weekly tracker. And so, having a place to remind me whether or not I did it, I think is important, but, um, 
Yeah, and I don't have anything on the calendar. I should have checked that first, but I don't have anything on the calendar. So maybe I'll be able to pick up some more stuff off my weekly to-do list after I've gotten all this done. Or maybe this will take more time and effort than I expected, and I'll be grateful that I didn't make this list longer. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in to watch once again. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you like these and want to have more of them. Um, I will be posting again every day until the end of the month. So uh, look forward to those, and I will see you then. Bye! Thank you.